This is one of the entrances to Clumber Park. Quite impressive, isn't it? This in particular, this is the entrance just off the A614 that's near the Apley Head roundabout. And these two roadside bridges either side of Lion Tree Avenue here are notifiable for their variety of flora. It's quite incredible, especially for Nottinghamshire. It's also notable since the weekend for a release of dark green fertilities with over 30 being seen here. I can see one now just down there. But it's very breezy today, so whether we get a chance to get any decent footage of one remains to be seen, but we can but try. Now whether you agree with butterfly releases or not is a matter of personal opinion, in my opinion anyway. Certainly the release of species not native to the UK is definitely frowned upon and shouldn't be done. But the release of species that do occur, or at least have occurred in Nottinghamshire, is less contentious in my view. Coupled with the fact that many releases, and especially those that have been successful, usually well attended by a number of observers coming to want to see the butterflies. I dare say that when the news was released over the weekend here, or at least the word was spread around via various platforms, there was quite a regular throng of people coming to see these particular butterflies. And I say at least 35, I think it might have been 37 butterflies were reported here. In fact, there's one just here now but I have seen two. They are beautiful things and it's lovely to see any fertility in Nottinghamshire. Nottinghamshire doesn't know what a fertility is most of the time. At least not a wild one. And here is dark green fertility. What a beauty. Absolutely immaculate by the looks of it, this one. It's just a shame that it's so breezy today and... There's that nutweed flower getting in the way. This is quite a confiding individual. Maybe the wind just makes them hunker down that little bit more. And here's another beauty. This one's immaculate. If, like me, you've lived in Nottinghamshire all your life, we've missed out together on these. Seeing fritillaries or not seeing fritillaries in Nottinghamshire. Absolutely beautiful, that fulvous brown upper surface of the hind and forewings. Absolutely glorious, what a butterfly. Super. Now, from what I've seen, dark green fertilities are both sides, as you'd expect, because their habitat is identical here. And there's a number of females, in fact there's three around me now. You may well see one come across, in fact there's four around me now. And one just directly in front, flitting around towards the camera there. They spend a lot of time doing that, the females, searching out egg laying sites. So presumably, most if not all of the females here have paired. And I've seen more females than males. Now these verges are absolutely beautiful. There's lots of ladies' bed straw here, and heath bed straw, and burst trefoil, nap weeds. They obviously have a problem with broom and also hawthorn scrub here, but they're cut once a year, so the scrub is kept to only sort of the present year's growth. It doesn't become a problem. And as you can see, this Vipers bugler is doing what Vipers bugler does, attracts the bumblebees. It is a beautiful plant. And here's another dark green fertility. This one's got a, a little nick 
in its hind wing there. This is a different individual, it's one I've not seen today. From what I have seen, I don't think there's been any dispersal at all. But what a beautiful thing. Beautiful butterflies. And the only flower that I have seen them nectar on is this, which is that weed. Off it goes. Oh, just to that one. Terrific things. And there's quite a lot of knapweed just coming out. In general, these are flighty butterflies, but occasionally they'll pause to nectar at flowers. That's just the general scene. And you can see how flower rich this is. It's a, a beautiful area. But if you do visit this place, you need to park across the A614. Well, he doesn't mean his tyres catching a blade of grass. Columbus, an incredibly popular place. This is always very busy with traffic. There's two dark green patillaries have just crossed over the road, actually, just down there. There are good numbers here. There's, I don't think any dispersal has taken place. There's two on the verge. Just gone off the verge. We'll have to see three or four. Um, most of the time, to be honest. If dispersal has taken place, it's going to be by females looking for suitable places to lay eggs. And yet more visitors arrive to Clumber. Unaware that these beautiful butterflies are here, by whatever means. It provides a fantastic spectacle. It's lovely to be able to see fritillaries in Nottinghamshire, whatever the origins. If the colony is successful and manages to get a foothold and maintain itself, where's the harm in that? Nottinghamshire has just gained. However, it won't go down well in some quarters. Well, pairing certainly has taken place and as far as these two are concerned is still taking place at least it gives you a good chance to see the underside and the underside of all the fritillaries is really beautiful and presumably this is where the butterfly derives its name from in terms of dark green not ideally what you'd call dark green, not to me anyway, but these are beautiful butterflies, say from the upper side of the fore wings and hind wings, which are alike, and the underside of both fore wings and hind wings, which are equally alike, but yet the upper side differs totally from the underside. The underside provides excellent camouflage. these we've got two that stayed still and now you can see the difference between male and female undersides I believe the female is the one on the left in this instance and she well, the underside of the wings are more green in the female than in the male on the right. Don't shoot me in the foot if I've got them the wrong way around. This is all from memory, you know. But what beautiful butterflies. It would be great if these hang around here and this becomes a regular spot. And I thought there might be one or two people here. Maybe word isn't as widespread as what I thought. 
Well, uh, this is a Tuesday, early Tuesday afternoon. Lovely stuff. Now, it may not show up very well on the footage that you're looking at now, but the place is full of dark green fritillaries. They're flying low to the grasses. Females looking for egg laying sites. There's one just flying across now, but there's a number flitting around. In fact, there's four just chasing each other just over there together. They're very active because today is a nice warm day, breezy, but it's a good temperature. I was told about these the other day and I thought I'll leave it a couple of days, let everybody have the fuss and come and see them. I thought there'd still be a few people here today actually that would drop in, but whether words not as widespread as I thought it might be or not, I don't know. But these are well worth popping into Clumber to see. This is a lovely little spot here at Clumber. It's quiet, there's no people here, but you do get the traffic as they come in off the A614 from the Apley Head Lodge end here. If you want to come and see these dark green fertilities, well, at least while they're here, because numbers might not be as good in years to come, depends on the availability of the food plant, which is violet, what the larvae feed on. Hopefully the releaser has done its homework, which I imagine that they have, if they can rear over 30 dark green fritillaries then surely they know a bit or two about violets and that they won't just chuck them out of the car window. It's certainly well worth visiting here. Now I've been surprised to find that there's still plenty of dark green fritillaries. It's probably the commonest butterfly here actually at the moment. There's not so many ringlets and there are a few meadow browns and small skippers but the dominant species is dark green fritillary. There's one just flying around here. But if you do want to visit here, there's no parking on these verges because they're protected because of their floral diversity and they really are worth protecting as well. You've got stunning vipers bugloss, which is my particular favourite flower here. But for access, there's a car park just over the road, over the A614. And all you do is just park in there then run as fast as you can across the A614 and you're straight in here to Clumber and the butterflies are immediately just inside from where the lodges are and the entrance is. Certainly the butterflies will probably be found down to where Lime Tree Avenue starts or at least the Lime Trees themselves start and as I say they're well worth popping in to see. Good numbers you can't fail not to see dark green fertility here. It's a shame that we have to rely on releases to see butterflies of this species in such numbers here in Nottinghamshire. So, it's provided me with some much needed entertainment for an hour. It's kept me occupied, kept me out of mischief.